In recent years, many sophisticated algorithms for deforming 2D shapes in real time have been developed. Most methods work pointwise by deforming individual pixels or texture triangle mesh. These techniques are limited to deforming raster images and cannot be used with smooth vector graphics. We introduce a real time method for directly deforming vector graphics. In 2D, this means that busy curves stay busy curves, and the designer may continue to edit the curves with standard tools like Adobe Illustrator after deforming. In 3D, we deform catamal clock subdivision surfaces directly rather than a triangulated limit surface. Animator can continue editing the deformed shape's control mesh using their favorite tools such as Maya or Blender. Real-time space deformations, under the umbrella term of linear blend skinning, define the deformation of a point on the shape as a weighted combination of transformations provided at a sparse set of handles. Skinning vector graphics requires care because a deformed busy curve is in general no longer representable by a busy curve. Naively skinning the input spline control points as the regular points in space will not produce the same deformation as deforming the curve pointwise. The control structure may be far from the shape itself and receive a very different deformation. Our method directly minimizes the error integrated along the entire length of all curves. Yet another alternative would be to deform each curve as a polyline and then refit it with a new spline. But this may drastically change the number and the placement of the control points hindering further editing. Instead, we work directly with the input curves. This ensures that the complexity of the shape does not change, and the new control point locations are predictable. We show that finding optimal control points with appropriate precomputation is as fast as matrix multiplication. With linear constraints, we enforce continuity and derivative continuity at curve junctures. We also derive a nonlinear optimization for relaxing G1 continuity at the junctions for the improving our solution. Unique to our formulation is the ability to constrain existing sharp angles. Our method is agnostic to the choice of skinning widths. We also support cage-based deformations. Our method extends to 3D surfaces. We find optimal positions for catamal clock subdivision meshes. Exploiting our linearity, a GPU implementation of our technique would theoretically outperform standard skinning, untethering vertex shader complexity from the number of handles. Thank you for watching.